Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan with your weekend weather update and the outlook for next week. And next week is looking wintry across parts of New Zealand, especially Canterbury, uh, Otago and Southland, but Canterbury perhaps might be the main region to be impacted by wintry weather. Taking a look at the wind map today, and again from our friends at predictwind.com, the area with gales, this area here in red. And so the animation is going to take you from Friday through until Saturday, and you'll notice this windy nor'wester moving into the South Island and moving up the South Island. At the same time, this purple blue area to the north means the winds are light. So again, tonight there's a risk of some fog patches in northern New Zealand, but the risk for fog actually diminishes as we go through Saturday as those windy nor'westers move up the island. And a cold wintry southerly also coming into Tasmania, Victoria and parts of New South Wales. So that's right through until Saturday night. Let's take a look at the rainfall that is coming in to New Zealand for the next 24 hours from uh, 6 o'clock Friday morning to 6 o'clock Saturday morning and most of it over here on the west coast with up to 100 millimetres or so falling just there. Most of the North Island dry. Now as we go through to Saturday, the next 24 hours from uh, 6 o'clock on Saturday morning shows heavy falls up here around Greymouth and Westport around about 50, 60 millimetres, maybe 80 or so up in the mountains, and about 30 millimetres or so around Taranaki as that front moves up, but also it starts to fall apart. Over in Australia, you've also got some rain as that southerly change starts to arrive. Not as big as the totals have been, around about 30 millimetres potentially in here between uh, Sydney and Brisbane up in the hills. Okay, let's get into the forecast. Here we are on Saturday lunchtime. Those windy nor'westers, the gales, are lying around about the Upper South Island, Cook Strait area at lunchtime. So we've got a cold front or cold air behind it, big southerlies. That's probably not going to arrive until Sunday, but it will be arriving and your temperatures will be dropping in the south. It's already pushing in here to the southeastern corner of Australia with a big area of high pressure just behind it. And there's also high pressure to the north of New Zealand keeping things calm and that's the reason why there could be some fog once again first thing in the morning there. Not so likely on Sunday to see that fog up in the north. You've got that front moving in falling apart, rainfall totals are pretty low. And then down in the south, here is that wintry southerly. Look at this enormous area of high pressure stretching all the way down to the southern part of New Zealand. That's helping dredge up that southerly change and that's why the temperatures will be down on Sunday. Let me show you this animation from Predict Wind going from Sunday and uh, across uh, Saturday night, Sunday and into Monday. Look at the cold air as it moves into the South Island on Sunday. Really, temperatures are dropping significantly. This area here, around about zero to four degrees. So it's pretty cold. And then it moves into the North Island as we get into Sunday night. It kind of stops though, around about the middle portion uh, it it kind of goes up the eastern side, but not so much for the very top of the country, although you will feel that temperature drop later into next week. But you can really see how it goes all the way up to about the middle part of the North Island, and then we're stuck with this big southeasterly flow that is pretty cold as it moves into Canterbury. So here is the misery index on Monday. This is showing where the areas in blue, it feels like it's below zero. It is called the misery index. That's not just a creative name I've given it. And it's designed really for livestock and farmers so that you can be better prepared. This on Monday is showing almost the entire South Island will feel like zero degrees, uh, when you, especially early in the morning. This is seven o'clock on Monday morning and that wintry southerly going up into the lower part of the North Island, but also into parts of Tasmania, New South Wales, even Queensland. So this is a big cold movement of air that we haven't really been seeing uh, for a while. So on lunchtime Monday, you've got that front moving up or falling apart, the rain showers here with that southeasterly change. Wintry weather going on on Monday down and towards Canterbury, but a big area of high pressure to the south might surprise you a wee bit. That's the driving force of this colder air that is coming in. Now there's no real change on Tuesday other than the moisture levels here lift up which means the chance of snow in the mountains and ranges also goes up and parts of the Canterbury Plains. Further to the north, it won't be as cold, but it will still be down a wee bit to where it's been. But eastern areas, wet, 
cold easterlies blowing through for you here on Tuesday and by Wednesday it does start to ease around Canterbury the system moving further out to the east the wintry southerly carries on though the temperatures will be down around eastern parts of Australia although starting to warm up in Adelaide with a northerly coming through for you and over in Perth a cold southerly as a high pressure zone starts to move in so where is the snow falling well the latest at ruralweather.co.nz is showing snow icons here for um, Mount Summers, for Springfield and for Oxford in Canterbury. So the snow icon shows when the snow is heavy enough to blanket the ground. So you might not be seeing it in places like Ashburton yet, uh, Timaru uh, into Christchurch, but it's still possible, especially overnight when the temperatures drop down from the daytime highs. But go to ruralweather.co.nz if you need more information. And that is all from me. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday when it's going to be a bit colder.